You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash, everyone. I'm your host, Jonathan Jackson. My guest on the show this week is the executive director of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce, Suzanne Levine. Suzanne, how are you today? I'm great. It's a beautiful day in your neighborhood. It is a beautiful day. It's so nice and warm out. I'm glad you came. Too. Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. No problem. So, Suzanne, you have been a staple in the community for many years now, I believe 30. And can you tell us a little bit about what you love best about West Bloomfield? I think West Bloomfield is a fabulous place to raise a family. The neighborhoods are wonderful, and then you've got restaurants and businesses, so there's a lot of convenience. It's just a great place to work, play, and live. It really is. It's so nice here. People are very nice, and it's very diverse in this community. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you have kids who were, went to the schools here, and now they're on to do more things, but it's great, you know, to see the people grow and build here. So. Absolutely. We have in the most incredible public library, mm -hmm. West Bloomfield Public Library, our parks, Very true. the lakes. Mm -hmm. Really, there's just so much that West Bloomfield has to offer. And also, as on um, the Chamber of Commerce, you work a lot with the businesses, of course. Right. So, can you tell us a bit about the local startups and the businesses like that that you're helping, let's not only grow, but also to get the word out there for? Absolutely. I think one of the great things that people don't realize about the Chamber of Commerce is that we are supposed to be the voice of business. Mm -hmm. So my role is to be a business matchmaker and get these businesses not only to connect with one another, but to connect with the community. Yeah, I like that, business matchmaker, that's a good right, term. Right, <laughs> right. Um, and I will nag our m chamber members to come to events mm -hmm. and to um, actually follow some of the leads that I give them because I will make the warm introduction. If they say, for example, uh, the Young Pizza gentlemen wanted to you know get out into the community more I introduced them to all of the local real estate agents and said why don't you let them know when um, you sell a house and he can deliver a free pizza welcome to the neighborhood all right. what a great way to welcome someone and also let introduce them to your business and give them some great pizza right and give them <laughs> some great pizza who doesn't love pizza of course right yeah <laughs> right. And I like, too, the fact that, you know, these local businesses and startups that you're there for, you're helping support them and build them and grow. You know, what would you say is the best part about seeing these businesses, you know, grow and, and being a part of that, you know? Is that just great? Is that, that the, you know, is that the best part of the day job? or is that I would <laughs> say that's probably one of the better parts of my job is mm -hmm. knowing that somehow I played some role mm -hmm. or was instrumental in keeping them open another day. Yeah. Um, I can't cure cancer and there are other things that I wish I could do mm -hmm. but to know that because of some connections I helped them make made or we had an event there and brought business into their store or their restaurant or their um, whatever maybe they're an insurance company and maybe they were able to uh, introduce someone to something um, that's a fabulous feeling mm -hmm. because they pay taxes in this community and um, you know I'm helping them feed their families so yes I would say that's probably one of the best parts of my job and you also reward some of these folks who do a, you know a, a successful job in your award ceremony coming up on May 10th and uh, can you talk to us a bit about that you know what do you do there and help how do you help grow that event this is a fabulous event we have it it's our 10th annual year it's our key to the township award ceremony and every January um, we send out an e-blast to the community to please nominate deserving individuals in five different categories. And this year I'm proud to say that uh, Basil Bacall is Business Person of the Year. Mm -hmm. He owns the Hampton Inn and he also um, donates a lot of money to helping Iraqi refugees. Um, our leadership is our own very fabulous Pat Watson, uh, the principal of West Bloomfield High School who That's is right. definitely connected with students and teachers and the community to make West Bloomfield and give it the kind of recognition it deserves. Uh, Young Entrepreneur of the Year this year is Samantha Silber and, um, oh I'm sorry, I mixed up her name. Oh no, it's, it's fine. It's um, Samantha Friedman. Okay. And she owns Cycle and Row. Mm -hmm. um, the health and wellness recipient this year is Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha, the pediatrician that found uh, the, f the uh, lead in the Flint water. Okay. And yeah, very big issue. Very mm -hmm. big mm -hmm. issue. And last but not least, as far as uh, the ones that the community have nominated, is Michelle Silber, and she's the event lead for the Relay for Life. It's that three day cancer awareness walk. Very important. And, and also a big event. Yeah. Big event. And then I get to choose. I create an award for Chamber Member of the Year, and this is a Chamber Member that has gone out of their way to help support the Chamber and also me in my efforts to connect people. And this year it's Amy Strauss with Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital who's been a phenomenal uh, partner and supporter of the Chamber. That's so great to hear, Suzanne. And also, too, you get some 
local celebrities in the area, local news right. talent as well. Who's right. coming to this event, by the way? Well, it's a uh, it's Charlie Langton, Charlie who Langton. <laughs> was yeah. uh, Fox Two news a analyst and definitely a news personality. Mm -hmm, very much. So he should add a lot of. Uh, a lot of dynamism to this already great event. There mm -hmm. are tickets available. I hope people will still come and support these great recipients who've made a positive impact in our community. You can go to westbloomfieldchamber.com to find out about this and other fabulous events. Um, Civic Center TV always carries it for us. They always uh, are the ones that are such a great supporter of our chamber also. So I have to give a shout out to the fabulous well, staff here, yeah. Dave Scott and yeah. Danny Mann and Katie. Mm -hmm. Um, do a great job um, of covering our events. May 18th, we have our health fair that you also cover. Mm -hmm, that's right. Um, at the township, which is open to the public. So we have a lot of great events to, that feature our local businesses um, that we want to help you know promote them and support our community because obviously this is what makes our community great. Mm -hmm. Um, especially I know that Civic Center TV does a lot of our segments called The Biz where you go into local businesses and, talk and you talk and with them and right. see what their business is all about. Local and entrepreneurs and yeah, young startup. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So, yeah, and that's great too. We enjoy doing that as well. Thank you, Suzanne, again, though, for coming here. Thank you know, you we really so enjoyed much. this. Yes. I, I'm, I'm happy to come here anytime and talk about our great chamber it's and our all businesses. Right. Yes. And uh, once again, Suzanne Levine from the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce, Executive Director. Be sure to stay tuned for the awards ceremony coming up on May 10th, as well as other events in the near future. Great. Thank so. you so much. Thanks again. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3 The Lakes FM.